on that Sunday, we found out that Brother Branham, or Garnet found out that Brother Branham was going to be at the Tabernacle, November the 10th, 1963. And uh, so we made arrangements to go. I guess we, I think we got up real, real, I know we did, got up real, real, real early that morning because we had to milk before we went and tried to, you know, get there. And they said, well, you have trouble getting a seat probably. So, which we did. It was real crowded. So, but Garner, he was so excited we were going to go, you know. So, uh, we got in, there were no seats, and we ended up, uh, we had to stand up over to the, to the right side, you know, on the side toward the organ there at the tabernacle. And, you know, Brother Brown started preaching and all, and uh, I just kept looking around, and I think, you know, all these people's got long hair, these girls, women, and, you know, no makeup, but, you know, they just don't understand. And uh, then I think it was about the time that he was uh, telling, uh, he was telling about when he, that gun went off with him. Advised. And uh, this is the last thing I remembered, you know. I passed out. Never in my life have I ever fainted or ever passed out before. Never. You know, I wasn't the type to do that. And uh, so uh, I don't. No, I know the deacons brought, you know, a handkerchief up there and washed my face in some water. And then Brother Brown told him to bring me up to the front by the platform there that he wanted to uh, pray for me. This might not be exact words, but anyway, he had to pray for me. And then when he prayed for me, see, he said the devil was trying to cheat me out of the message. And he was, definitely, you know. Because, see, I wasn't really interested so much in what he's saying. I was just thinking, you know, well, this is not just, you know, right. And because uh, I went into the church. I had short hair, very short, and makeup on. And um, I didn't feel any condemnation, you know. Uh, I just didn't. I should have, but, I mean, I didn't because I didn't didn't know. I didn't realize. And... Uh, so then, uh, I'm sure Garnet was here praying for me, though. <laughs> and so uh, they got me a chair right in the, after he prayed for me, right in the doorway that goes into Brother Brown's study there at the tabernacle. And uh, so, you know, it was just unreal. As I uh, sit there, um, things just started opening up that I had never seen in that direction. And, you know, that was a hard take. I looked down in my lap because I had this handkerchief that Brother Doc Branham had uh, given to wash my face with, you know. And I looked down at it, and here's all this makeup on it. And, oh, I felt so condemned. You know, and I just, when I come in the tabernacle, I felt no condemnation. Just, you know. Just, I said, well, the Lord had to knock me down and Brother Branham pray for me for me to see it. But I praise the Lord for it, you know. It just changed my life, you know, it really did. And that night we went over to, um, I don't know where you know Brother Walter Noel and Henry Noel, their brothers, and of course their cousins and my husband, about third, fourth, something. And uh, of course we knew them and we went over and visited them. They lived real close then at that time. And we was telling them about it and all, and they said they're going to have a healing service tonight. And I had never seen a healing service in my life. And, so he said, well, we're just going to let the cows go, I think. And Doran said, well, I may milk them when I come back home, whatever time it is. I'll just milk them when I come back home. And that's a no-no because that'll just nearly ruin your cows, you know, because I'll usually get mastitis. You don't, you don't ever skip a milking. And uh, so uh, Walter and Henry, they got ready and their wife, and they went with us that night to the healing service. We went back to the healing service. And oh, it was just, oh, it was just wonderful, you know. They called out somebody pretty close to us, and, uh, you know, it was just, oh, it was just real, real, really something. And just more things opened up, you know, as he spoke, just more things opened up that I didn't understand, like, well, here's something, you know, it just started opening up. You know? And uh, so, oh, we were so excited. So we came back, told Garnet, oh, he was the happiest thing. Of course, the next day we told him, and he was so happy. I mean, he was just overjoyed, you know. He was so happy.